sweetheart? Oh, I mean, that was... Tom! You were... You were incredible. You were like... It, this... You were prize-winning. I mean, it was like... It was like the makeup sex without the fight. Actually, sweetheart, uh... That was goodbye sex. What? What do you mean, goodbye sex? <sighs> Tom, you're a wonderful person. Thank you. But that's just not enough. You know, I can't spend the rest of my life with an unemployed construction worker. I'm a sculptor. Okay, you can call yourself whatever you like, all right? But you're still broke. Look, maybe someday that'll change. But I can't wait. I'm 25 years old. I don't have a lot of time left. You've been watching the WB again, haven't you? I told you, actually, it's not reality. We're doing so well. We, we have a commitment. We just bought linens. Wait, who is the strange man in my house? Hi, these two bags? Ashley. Ashley, wait. Oh, you know what? Ashley, I'm not rich, okay? And I, I may never be rich. Tom. I mean, who's gonna eat pineapple pizza with you? And who's gonna go rollerblading with you at 3 a.m. in the morning? Now let's go, babe. Dr. Jerry? <laughs> Cancun awaits. <laughs> <laughs> You're leaving me for your orthodontist? Listen, no hard feelings, okay, kid? That's funny, huh? Well, I got news for you. You're a bunch of delinquents, and you're gonna end up in prison wearing nothing but high heels and a smile for some guy named Big Ernie. Ooh. Mr. Sickler. Yes, sir? Can I have a word with you, please? <laughs> sir? I think I'm going to extend you a little Wheel C vacation. A Wheel C vacation? What's a Wheel C vacation? Well, take some time off for the holidays, make an appointment to see me, and then we'll see. You know, I gotta tell you, I love how sitting in Malibu. Start the cars at least once a week. Keep your greasy fingers off the gold records. No wild orgies, unless you make me a video. Shutzy! Leave that damn dog inside, just screwing enough as it is. Oh, come on. Don't pay any attention to him, Lipo. Mummy loves you. I'll be right back after New Year's. Here's where we'll be in the event of an emergency. Don't have one. Eitner Clinic, Guatemala City, Guatemala. Oh, oh so you guys are doctors. No, no, we're patients. <laughs> we're going for monkey gland injections. <laughs> they keep us young. <laughs> Go ahead. Guess how young we are. 80? You get dropped on your head as a kid. No? Why? We're leaving now. Oh, uh, and one thing more. You're going to have to... Buzzy! One second, Buzzy! Oh, you'll need these for lipo. You see, she's a bit anxious, and sometimes she has to have a suppository. They're in the fridge. Be gentle. 
Bye bye. <laughs> Don't you worry, I'm not just a house sitter, I'm a professional actor. I got lots and lots of experience with, with this. Already? Holiday. At least you're not on Wheel C vacation. Hey, hey, fellas, I'm the one sticking suppositories up light bulb, but. Bear? I'm a math teacher, not a basketball coach. He knew that. I hope they don't want me back. Then I get out of this miserable town, move up the coast, and finally over yeah, open a little, little health food, food restaurant. Yeah. How many years have we been hearing this? Uh, 15. Yeah, well, when I get it, don't expect a friends and family discount. <sighs> Do you mind? <laughs> Do I mind what? Um, nothing. Hi, Franklin, Tommy, remember? Hey, Tommy. Yeah, long time no see. How you doing? Good, good. How are you? Yeah, is this yours? Uh, yes, and it was his fault. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. You know what? Listen to your friend. He's a smart guy. It's good seeing you again. Good seeing you, Franklin. Okay. Who the hell was that? Franklin Landau. Took a sculpture class I taught. Where? In prison? As a matter of fact, yes. And you know, for a guy convicted of racketeering, he showed an amazing appreciation for the human form. Oh, my man has still got it going on, because check out the sweater puppets on that day. Damn! You know, if you want to play with sweater puppets like that, you got to have a little bit of this, okay? Guys, let's face it. The only thing women care about is money. My man, look, I know you are down and out because Ashley dumped you, but... No, it's not just Ashley. This has been happening since the eighth grade when Sue Duffy dropped him for Andy Singer and his 30 buck a week allowance. Guys, good, good. Remember Tanya, the yoga instructor? Oh, uh, yeah, and, and Gina, the dancer? All right. Oh, remember the one we busted messing around with the Dennis Rodman lookalike? Hey, that, was, that was Dennis Rodman. Okay. That was brutal. You know, whoever named this happy hour wasn't sitting with you two clowns. Ooh, you, my friend, need to tighten up your game. What does he mean? I don't understand what it says. <laughs> Women in this town are looking for a meal ticket, and we're like three day old stale pizza. <laughs> Great, now I want pizza. Ooh, hello. All right, watch this. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Go get him, champ. Hi. Hi. Noisy in there tonight, huh? Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. See, that's why I like the bar at the Four Seasons better, you know? It's quiet, more intimate, you can talk. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. I'm gonna go there. Um, would you like to join me? Oh, hey, look. Here's my car now. <laughs> I don't think so. Here's your car, sir. Hi. Hey. I'm telling you, that girl didn't even know Jason existed until the Ferrari pulled up. Come on, Lipo, you gotta eat. Lipo, you gotta eat, doggy. Come on, baby. It's good. This Look, place is incredible. They got walk-in closets bigger than my whole apartment. Look, I'm telling you, it was the car. And you know what? If you're a woman, that's considered okay. But if we went after a woman just because she was rich, we'd be hustlers. No, we'd be failures. No rich woman would be interested in us. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down, fellas. Fellas, if we really wanted to get some rich chicks, we could go and do just that. Sure we could. It's easy. We just have to let them know we're here. <clears throat> Attention, rich ladies of Malibu looking for love. Simple-minded actor slash house sitter Jason is available right here, right now. Also available is Tom, a cynical, unemployed sculptor, and Mark, an obsessive, compulsive teacher currently on psychiatric leave. Ho oh, ho! Who's ready for love? Come and get it. Lock the doors. It's a stampede. All right, you know what? You made your point, and I think the police are on their way. Hey, Marky, I'm not all that simple, okay? Come on, Lipo. You gotta eat it. It's good food. Gobble, gobble, gobble. I'll remember. Really it's good. It's good. Mm. good. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Come on, puppy dog. Mark, it doesn't matter how we describe ourselves, all right? Unless we own a palatial mansion like this, or drove a Ferrari like the one in the driveway, or the Porsche, or the Rolls, or... or we led women to believe that we did. Why are you talking so slowly? Because when inspiration hits, an artist must savor it. 
Wait a minute. Are you blocked, honey? Yeah. Oh. Okay. <sighs> All right, guys. You may not want to watch this. You're going in. Mm. Light, 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 folks. Come on, light. Oh. Mark, take a look around. We've been handed everything we need to convince rich women that we're rich. And we would do that because... Because we're tired of being dumped for guys with money. I say screw love. It's our turn now. Let the women take care of us. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Great. Jason likes the sound of it. That alone should scare you. You know what would scare me? Spending the next 40 years dreaming about a restaurant I'm never going to own. This could be your chance to get it. Okay. Okay. Even if we find rich women and convince them we're rich, sooner or later we have to admit that we lied. What? My chain of omelet huts have all gone under? Babe, I'm broke. Ah, that was pretty good. I believed it. You, you believed in the tooth fairy till you were 14. Man, you are so full of it. I was 13. Guys, I don't know about you, but I'm sick and tired of being a loser. I'm sick of being broke. I'm sick of driving my 20-year-old car. Mark, I know it's a gamble, but you've played your whole life so safe. And look at you. You're miserable. I say roll the dice. All right, what the hell? That's my boy. Perfect. All right, this is what we do. We pull our resources together. We use the house. We use the cars. First guy to marry rich helps the other guys until they score. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Marriage? Uh-uh. I'm not doing all of that. Jason, you're 30 years old. In L.A., that means it's over, OK? This is your last shot at any security. Wait, what do you mean my last chance? No, no, I could still make it as an actor. Jason, uh, Mark and I have seen everything you've done, and I can say with complete confidence you have absolutely no talent. Mark? None at all. You're stiff, you're stilted, and you make me profoundly anxious when I watch you. Always? Well, there was the time you played dead surfer on Silk Stockings. That was OK. Jason, what happens to unemployed actors when they become too unattractive to house it anymore, huh? Think about it. Here's your double scotch and your toad in the hole. I love it. I think I prefer your toad in the hole. The hole. <laughs> hole. I'm in. Yes. She's friendly. Oh, not to worry. Everybody loves Santa. Children, dogs, the wardrobe lady. <laughs> Come on, Lipo. Santa doesn't have anything in his bag for us. Come on. Well, I wouldn't say that now, would I? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Thanks for your help. <laughs> Don't mention it. <laughs> Lipo, come here. Lipo. Come here, Lipo. Come here. Here's the bone. Here Here's the bone. Lipo? Yeah. Short for liposuction. She's had a lot of work done. She had, she had those fat, meaty thighs, you know. Sucked it right out. You know, most females don't like having that revealed. Yeah. Name's Tom. Jenny. This is Lipo. Say hi, Lipo. Hi, Lipo. Say hi, Lipo. Dog can't talk. I don't know why I'm telling him to say hi. You live around here? No. I just like coming down here to paint. Yeah. You? Yeah. Yeah, I live in that big one over there. My accountant said it was overpriced, but, you know, I just had to be down at the beach. It's just so soothing and spiritual. Santa, can we get you to move the tequila bottle? We're getting the clear. And where else can you knock back some shots with Santa after a long day? Christmas in L.A. Weird, huh? Yeah, no kidding. When I was little, I was so desperate for a white Christmas that I would cry until my parents drove me to this place in the mountains called Santa's Castle. I used to go there, too. Really? I did the same thing. I mean, I didn't cry. I threatened to tell family services that my parents were abusing me if they didn't take me. But... You remember Santa's workshop? Yeah. And the North Pole Express. Yeah, and the suntan elves and the tranquilized reindeer. It's the tackiest place on Earth. Mm. But it didn't matter then, it was perfect. Yeah. So one year we couldn't go because my mother went to Hawaii with her new rich boyfriend, leaving my father sobbing in the frozen turkey pot pie. God, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. No, I bummed this out. Look at this. We're having a nice conversation. I take it right into the dirt. I'm sorry. This is, uh, looks like it's going to be nice. 
Have I seen your work anywhere, possibly? Not unless you've been in my house, mm. in my parents' house. And my sister keeps one in her garage. It's hard to uh, make money as a painter, huh? Yeah, well, money isn't everything. Well, I better get going. It's uh, nice meeting you. you Take too. off. All right. Come on, Lipo. All right, look, we need some kind of history. We need some kind of plausible thing that made us rich. We could be doctors. All right. And what happens the first time a woman asks us something about her vulva? Why would she ask a doctor about her car? No medicine. Hey, Jason. Hey, baby girl. <laughs> Laura, silly. Call me. All right, what about the internet? A lot of people getting rich off the internet. Now we know more about medicine. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, I got it. We could be movie producers. What? Hey, Jason. Jason. Hey, ladies, looking beautiful two times. Producers. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, we could be movie producers. Think about it. They don't do anything except talk on cell phones, go to Laker games, and fire people. Come on, they got to do more than that. Oh, you know, I don't know. This might make sense. Movie producers. Now, how about, um, independent movies? They're hip right now. And what if somebody asks us what we produce? Yeah. Yeah. Simple. We tell them we produced... Tell them we produce movies for the Indian market. It's perfect. A billion people with a voracious appetite for movies that in this country nobody's ever heard of. I like it. Hey, Jason. Hey, baby girl. Call me. You're a whore. Is there any woman on this beach you haven't slept with? Jason, good morning. You did. Would it turn you on if I did? Boys, we're not finished. Sorry. All right. Come up with a profession. The most important question. Where do we meet rich women? Europe. You're an idiot. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Hey, Mark, you got your number two pencil? Because I'm about to put on a clinic.
Tiffany Kennedy. No. From the uh, Massachusetts Kennedys? Oh, I wish. <laughs> no, we're from Pittsburgh. Oh, beautiful place, beautiful place. So how'd you wind up out here? Well, um, Mom got tired of the winter, so Daddy sold the dry cleaning chain, and here we are. <laughs> well, Pittsburgh's loss is our gain. Huh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I get it, Mr. Smooth Talker. <laughs> yeah. So, Daddy uh, sold the stores. Was it difficult for him? How many did he have, by the way? Four, five stores, did you say? Oh, um, I don't know, 40, 50? 40, 50. <laughs> oh, but that's so boring. I, I want to hear about you. Mm. Me. Um, what about me? I, uh, I'm in the entertainment business. Mm. How exciting. <laughs> Do you make movies? Yes, I don't like to brag, but um, I do. Yes, I make uh, I make films. Oh my God, I knew it! <laughs> Did you make Message in a Bottle? It's my all-time favorite. I've had enough already. If you had left any on my plate, I might have been tempted. I'm sorry. I thought this was my table. I was beginning to wonder if you even had a table. I've been watching you eat your way all around the room. Is it that noticeable? <laughs> Only to someone as nervous as you. You're nervous? Why? You're beautiful. You're sweet. But obviously you've never been female and 45 and recently divorced. No. And in the chat room, I was a 19-year-old tattooed surfer who went by the name of Shiloh. No. <laughs> She's got $5 million in a trust fund. She gets the day she says, I do. Five million is nothing. Catherine was wearing that much in jewelry. Guys, I have almost an entire law firm in my hands, but I don't remember which one Stephanie was. Jason. Oh, hey, Carrie and Nicole. Call me. Jason, the plan. Huh? Oh. Merry Christmas. Help us out here, boys. Rudolph's got a little randy. We're trying to get him a vasectomy. Come on, Tom, where's your Christmas spirit? Yeah, man. Hold it. The donation bucket is full. With that 37 cents, every needy child can have a Game Boy and a pony. Hey, easy on the attitude, okay? Hey, come on, Tommy. It is Santa Claus. There you go. Tough guy, eh? Don't believe in Santa Claus? Santa Claus believes in you. Easy on the method acting, okay, Pops? <laughs> I can't help myself. Merry Christmas! See, there I go again. <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> what are you looking at? You. Beat it. Here. Go get it. Go get the sponge. Mm -hmm. Go get it. You're not a real dog, are you? Mm. Lipo. Get her. Lipo. Sick her. Hi. Attack, Lipo. Attack. Bite her toes. Bite her toes, Lipo. Oh, she gonna lick me to death? Hey. Hi. I didn't know you were a sculptor. Well, it's a little early to call us a sculpture. Actually, it's a, right now it looks like a tall, skinny paperweight with breasts. <laughs> What's it gonna be? It's gonna be a female nude, but Lipo's offered me unconditional love if I sculpt her, so I'm torn. She's in pretty great shape, if you can get past the excessive body hair. I was gonna go grab some lunch down the road. Do you wanna come? I'd love to, but I, I can't today. I have a i got a meeting in town. Okay, well, maybe some other time. Oh, look. Here's my little uh, brother. He's special. We keep him locked up in the basement, so. Jason, Jenny, Jenny, Jason. Hello, I did not know we had beautiful Be company. Be nice to her. Hi, and goodbye. Okay. It was nice to meet you. Bye, Bye Jenny. Hoo, hoo, hoo. My man, what was that about? It's Jenny, we met her on the beach. Beautiful, isn't she? Yes, she is. Looks like we got a winner, baby. Huh? No, 
No, we don't have a winner, baby, because she doesn't have any money. She's broke. Okay, okay, so she's broke. But, man, you don't have to marry this one. You can still get naked and do a little wrestling with her. You and I have a completely different set of values, you know that? What do you mean? Okay, help me understand something. All right. You will marry a woman for money. Yeah. But you won't sleep with her because you like her. Right. I'm sorry, I'm all the way confused. Exactly. <laughs> hey, whatever, man. Will you, will you hook me up, please? I need to stay dark and lovely. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Get all over now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah. There you go. Hey, man. Bar! You have any deodorant I can borrow? Spray sticker roll on. Spray. Fresh scent, no scent, or musk? No scent. Aluminum, natural salt, or seaweed extract. Give me. Thanks. Hey, wait a second. What do you think, tie or no tie? No tie. You sure? I look thinner in a tie. All right, where the tie? But we're just eating at her place. No tie. Hey, fellas, y'all got any clean drawers? Because look at Buzzy. He sure got a kinky side to him, huh? <laughs> Catch. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Did you have any trouble finding the place? Oh, are you kidding? You could land a jet here. <laughs> hey, where are we going? I hope it's someplace really expensive and hard to get into. I'll get my coat. Welcome to our home. Crap. Mom, I'd like you to meet my parents. John and Jackie Kennedy. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you both. Come in. Come in. I know what you are thinking, and you are right. Or In Russia, we were Alexei and Svetlana Smetnov. But when we came to this wonderful country, we wanted to be American. And what greater Americans were there than the Kennedys? Ah, uh, none that I know of. So I guess that would make you uh, Caroline, right? I was. I changed it because it's stupid. This may ask our billet, Senor Kennedy. Never get on it, did ya? It's a glooper. You're not a visuator. You're an aeropionic. Pass my trick, okay? It's a TV in Noriel. Hey, Mr. Kennedy, I I've never seen golf gloves like those. They're not golf gloves. 20 years of cleaning fluid left me with hands like a Gobi desert. Now I have to keep them like uh, lubricated. And if he doesn't wear the gloves, he leaves Strix. S Strix? Like that. Like that. Like that. OK. Well, I guess none of us really thinks of the human cost of maintaining fine fabrics, do we? <sighs> mm. Gertney says you make films for Indians. Yes, sir, I do. Now you can make money like that. There are not that many Indians left. Oh, I, I think she um, misunderstood. Actually, I make uh, films for another Indian market. The, um, you know, Bombay and, and, and Calcutta. Oh! oh. Mm. John loves movie stars. Last week, no. we saw Urkel by Inkodostroffel at Bed Bath and Beyond. He is no movie star. Charles Bronson, there is a movie star. Clint Eastwood is like little girl next to him. Oh, yeah, no, he's a stud. Stud horse. Yeah. I'm hungry. Why don't you kids just have dinner with us? Jackie. Tom. Mm. Do you like cabbage soup? Hmm. 
India is just one of those countries I've never paid much attention to. Really? Well, let me tell you, Tel Aviv, ooh, one hell of a town. After the divorce, I was so depressed. But then I walked into this apartment and I saw all of that sky. And my spirits just even lifted. You know, sometimes at night I go out onto the balcony and I feel like I can just, just take off and just fly away. <laughs> Why don't we go out there now? The lights are so beautiful at Christmas time. Hey, um, whoa, is that a Rembrandt? Yes, it is. Yeah. Henri got the 23-year-old Laker girl, and I got the Rembrandt, and about a hundred million dollars. Ah, so it was an equitable divorce. I thought so, yeah. <laughs> I have to confess, I don't know a thing about India. Really? Well, uh, let me tell you, Tel Aviv is one hell of a town. They are stinking clean. clean. <laughs> oh, we need a new one every year. Wait until you see my hair in 1980. <laughs> Might I offer you something else? Uh, we'll take the coffee on the balcony, Gunther. We can have it here. Can you smell the ocean? Sure can. OK, back inside. We don't want you to get a chill. Oh, don't worry about me. I'm very warm-blooded. No! What's the matter? It's just the railing. It's so thin. Ma. Are you afraid of heights? Me? Little. Oh. Why didn't you tell me? I don't like to brag about my neuroses. And I don't like to sleep with the closet door open. I live in fear of swallowing a moth. <laughs> I've met a lot of people in your business and nobody quite like you. Well, I'm not your average producer of Indian films in India, where there are over a billion people. I must seem like a complete idiot. Would you like to come and see the bedroom? You know, there's a balcony there. And I promise you, we won't go anywhere near it. The last time I was in India, I visited this wonderful ashram in Ganeshpuri. Do you know it? Uh. <laughs> you know, um. Uh... I gotta tell you, uh, you're looking really, really fine tonight. Why don't we go back to my place? Your attorney wants to cross-examine you. Maybe you'd be hungry, so I uh, put together a picnic for you. Ooh, you yeah, in? Yeah. I got all the accoutrements: the basket, the blanket, brought some ants. There you go. I even made sandwiches. Ooh, what'd you make? 
I made peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That's all I know how to make. But the important thing is, I cut them into nice triangles. Ooh, how festive. Yes. Yum, yum. The painting's coming along nice. Thanks. How's the sculpture? Oh, good. Lipo seems to be pleased. I'm glad. There you go. So, how long have you and Jason been together? What? As a couple. You think me and Jason are a couple? No, I mean, the oil on the back, triangles, not to mention apricot marmalade. <laughs> apricot mar... That's a gay thing? Girlfriend? Most women are overwhelmed by the power of my testosterone, yet you seem somehow immune. I mean, you're not gay? <laughs> no! Which means you're gonna have to throw out those years of research on gays and condiments. So when I asked you for lunch the other day, you really couldn't go? Right. And if I told you I had tickets to a concert on Friday night, you would say? I would say thank you, but I can't go. Oh. It's not that I don't want to go with you, Jenny. It's just that... You have a girlfriend? No, not exactly. See, if, if we would have met six months ago, well, actually, I did have a girl from six months ago, but she dumped me for an orthodontist. And then the one before that dumped me for a stockbroker. The one before that dumped... Anyway, the point is that I keep falling for these women that leave me for guys with money. Well, I'm confused. I kind of thought you had money. I mean, the beach house. Actually, I'm borrowing the beach house. Truth is, I'm as broke as you are. You are? That's why I can't go out with you. you know, I don't want to fall in love with you and then one day, you know, catch you jump into a limo with some rich guy that actually does own a beach house like that. Well, first of all, it was a concert, not a marriage proposal. And secondly, I don't like being categorized with a bunch of women I don't even know. Well, no, listen, you've been as burned as many times as I have. You learned to stay away from the other. So because these women left you, you're not going to get involved for the rest of your life? No, I'm going to go find someone rich and have her take care of me. You're not serious. Yes, I am. I mean, women do it all the time. Why can't I? Because it's shallow and immoral. Well, I've lived my life deep and moral, and you know what it's got me? Nothing but pain. And that makes it okay for you to do something like this? Jenny, this isn't Santa's castle. You don't get what you want by sitting in some fat guy's lap and asking for it. I don't think I want your sandwich. At least I told you the truth. Jason wanted me just to try to sleep with you. Forgive me if I'm not flattered. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to continue with my painting. And you can continue with your idiotic plan. Yeah, so idiotic. How come I've already met somebody and she's loaded? Congratulations. I hope we'll be very rich together because you probably won't be very happy. Well, again, you're wrong. You know what? Tiffany is a very nice girl and I think we will be happy. I'm taking my picnic stuff and I'm leaving. Good day. By the way, apricot marmalade is very, very gay. Mrs. Templeton will be right down. Oh, yeah. Let me help a little bit here. Thanks. Yeah. You know, she has been happier these last few weeks than in a very long time. I'm glad. She's an amazing woman. Yeah, I agree. And I would hate to see her get hurt again. Yep, that's him, all right. Mark Sickler drives a 91 Celica. Got him on the old wheel sea vacation. That's my nice term for psych leave. Catherine, let me explain. Thank you, Principal. Gunther, do what you must. Gunther, no! 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 My God, your arms are like steel. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Now you're perfect. This is terribly, uh, terribly irritating. I've never had a problem with this particular card before. I'm sure. Perhaps a different one. Yeah, or a different one would, would be good. I'm sorry. We're no longer accepting the Blockbuster card. <laughs> hey, man. Listen, I just need a couple gallons of gas to get to the house. Can you hook me up? Come on, man. Here, look. I'm gonna give you my watch. 
Huh? It's a Rolex. It's a piece of crap. What? It's a piece of crap. money from Tiffany. Felt like an idiot. I had to pay the valet with nickels. Here's five cents. Ten cents, fifteen. It was humiliating. Man, the guy who sold me this Rolex swore up and down it was real. That's 40 bucks down the drain. Jason, just for future reference, Rolex has only one L. Oh, get out of town. I should never have let you talk me into this stupid plan. I was just miserable before. Now I'm miserable, overdrawn, and maxed out on my credit cards. Guys, the plan is working. We just need a little extra cash to tide us over, that's all. What are we going to do? Sell Jason's Rolex? No, I'm going to borrow some money from my uncle. Uncle Bob. I've always been his favorite. Are you sure Rolex doesn't have two L's? Mm-hmm. I don't know, Tommy. I mean, 10,000 bucks, that's a lot of money. You got no job, you got no collateral. Frank, I I'm good for it, I promise. Well, look, you did introduce me to the beauty of the sculpted nude, so I guess I owe you for that. I mean, wh what about a, how about a weekend at Caesars, huh? A big screen TV? I mean, anything but this. Franklin, I really need your help on this. This is very serious. Yeah? Yeah, it's always serious. Okay, you got the money. But if we're not square by the first... Oh, we square. Let me finish what I'm saying. Sorry, sir. If we're not square by the first, business is business. No, no, no. We'll, we'll, we'll be square, I, I promise. You do? Yeah. I hope so. Thank you, sir. You got a very pretty face. Thank you, sir. I don't want to see you bust it up. Yeah? Okay. Ow. See ya. Quiet today. Is everything all right? Oh, yeah. Everything's fine. I was just uh, worrying about my next picture mm. and monsoon season. Oh, monsoon. Catherine! Oh, he. Henry? You look lovely. Thank you. Uh, Henry Templeton, this is Mark Sickler, and these must be Sandy. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Don't be embarrassed. At least he takes you out in the middle of the work week, which is more than I could ever do. Yes. Well, take care. You know, those weren't real. You always know exactly what to say. <laughs> Come take a picture with Santa. <laughs> yeah, he'll give a smile. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Hi, Santa. Ah, what would you like for Christmas, little girl? Him. <laughs> <laughs> no. We wouldn't want a strange Santa's hernia dragging him down the chimney, would we? <laughs> well, then, I'll just take anything from Prada. Ah, I will consult with my Italian elves. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> Hey, come on, it's your turn. Tom, Santa's waiting. Oh, uh, Tiffany, I'm, I'm, I'm too big to sit on Santa's lap. I'd rather not. Come on, but I move it. Hey, watch it, you little dork. But it. Dork. But it. Dork. But it. Dork. But it. Tom. Dork. Please. Dork. But it. Hi, Santa. Ah, <laughs> sit down, sit down. <laughs> And what would you like for Christmas, young man? Mm. How about a million dollars and a trip to Monte Carlo? <laughs> How droll! <laughs> Why don't you give me a break and cut the crap? Santa, you kiss Mrs. Claus with that mouth? I don't know. You give a lap dance to every old guy in a Santa suit? All right, this is weird. Tom! The first rule of Christmas. Before you ask for something, make sure it's what you want. Do I know you? Hmm. Christmas Santas, we all look the same. <laughs> Smile! What I'm trying to explain to you is, come in. You said you wanted to see me, Mrs. Walker. Come right in. Hello there. Good to see you again. It's nice to see you. You're awfully lucky, Mrs. Walker. Lovely little girl you have here. 
Thank you. And Susan, you are playing? Oh, forgive me. I did not mean to start with you. No, no, no. You just caught me a little off guard. Yeah, would, you, would you like me to fix you something to eat? Oh, no. Fine, really. I don't want to trouble you. Nein, it is not trouble. Actually, Cooking relaxes me. I'm sorry to disagree. That's how I feel about eating. <laughs> and how to be the lucky pair there. So, what is it you want? God, I thought I knew. Did you ever get yourself into something you didn't really plan on, but then suddenly you're in it and you can't really see how to get out without hurting someone and you wish you hadn't started the whole thing in the first place? Why is it I feel we are not talking about food anymore? I'm not a bad person, Gunter. I know that. How? Uh, how do you say? Um, intuition. So, how do crepes sound? I love crepes. Hey, fellas, all these women we're hanging out with, they're wearing the life out of me. And I'm so tired, I can barely think. What's your excuse the rest of the time? <laughs> hello? Yeah, hello, uh, Jasper. No, no, J Jason. Or whatever. Uh, look, you change your plan. We'll be home Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve? Why? Shotzi had a bad reaction to her last monkey gland injection. <laughs> Don't come near me! Buzzy! Ah, buzzy! Ah. Hey, guys, that was Buzz and Shotzi. They're coming home on Christmas Eve. What? Oh, my God, that's next week. We'll never get married by then. And I'll never be out of debt. How did this happen to me? I was valedictorian of my high school class. I gave a speech. Oh, I know what we can do. We can just borrow some more money from uh, Uncle Bob, right? No, we can't. Why? Because I borrowed the money from that Franklin guy. Franklin's your uncle? Idiot, there is no uncle. Oh. Oh, then th that's bad. Hey, tell me, that guy will kill you. Yeah, and then he'll kill us, because we know too much. You're going to have to get married. Me? Uh-uh. I can't even put names or faces yet. You get married. Guys, I started this, I'll finish it. I'm going to ask Tiffany to marry me. You think she'll say yes? My luck? Absolutely. Last time we talked, we didn't exactly end on the best of terms, and I I know you don't think much of me right now, and I'm sure this isn't gonna change your mind. I, I just wanted you to have it. Tom, it's beautiful. Thank you. Merry early Christmas. It's a nice beach. kind of place I wish I spent more time. May I begin with a cocktail? Perhaps a bottle of wine? Uh, let, let's have some champagne. Yes, sir. Crystal. Very good, sir. Ooh, champagne. <laughs> I know it's not my birthday, so this can only mean one thing. Yes. It's your birthday. <laughs> no. Come on, everybody, no. let's sing. It's his birthday. No, 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 no. no it's, not, it's, not, it's not my birthday. No, 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 it's not, no. Thank you. Um, no, actually, um, actually, Tiff, it's, it's something else. You're breaking up with me? No. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, Tiffany, I'm, uh... I'm gonna ask you to marry me. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. He asked me to marry him! <laughs> Thank you. Oh, this is 
so sudden. Yes. Listen, if, if you need time to think about this, or if you want to just turn me down right now, flat, I, I totally understand. Turn you down? No way! Of course I'll marry you! Great. Great. You just have to do me one teeny, tiny little favor. What's that? On the knees. Well, Tiffany, I, I have a... I have a, a, a left knee issue. Oh, please! <clears throat> <laughs> Tiffany. Will you Yes! <laughs> <laughs> thought about this my whole life and I have the whole thing planned out. I, I want a huge wedding with eight bridesmaids and an orchestra and a, and a carriage and, and, and doves. Good, good, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll get the doves. The thing is, we need to move kind of quick on this. I, I have to head back to India to start my new picture. Oh, how quickly? How's Saturday? Christmas Eve? Yes. Oh, that's so romantic. <laughs> Is Zach still open? The thing is, we need to uh, coordinate this with your parents as soon as possible as well. Okay, but I better warn you, Daddy's not going to be very happy. And why is that? He hates you. Oh, that's not, that's not good. He hates me? Oh, who cares? <laughs> we don't need his blessing or that stupid five million he was going to give me. We have all your money. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, I can't. I won't. I, 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 I won't come between a daughter and her father. I couldn't live with myself. No, we're going we're gonna to make this right. Okay, we're going to get his permission or we are not going to get married. Be careful. You know why this one was available? Mm. The White House thought it was too big. I don't care. Just as long as it impresses the Kennedys. I've got one shot to convince him I'm a totally wonderful guy and that I'm totally legit. And you two clowns are going to help me. How? Well, how? Well, I've ordered a fabulously catered meal. You're going to be the houseboy and you're going to be India's biggest movie star. Oh, <laughs> showtime! <laughs> are you insane? How's he going to play an Indian movie star? What are you talking about, Mark? If, if Keanu Reeves can play the Buddha, I can handle this. Well, I can't. I have a hard enough time lying if somebody trusts me. If I know they're suspicious, ask me a question. Go ahead. Uh... Okay, houseboy, what time is dinner? <laughs> what are you doing? That's how my mother always knew I had taken the change out of her purse. All right, you know what? You stay out of sight. You play the houseboy. No, no, I want to be the movie star. Be the movie star. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I, I can do both, like, like Mrs. Doubtfire. Here, here, watch this, watch this. Welcome. I'm your houseboy. Okay, watch. Good evening. I'm India's biggest star. Wow. See? We are so dead. All right, they're here. Jason, you get the door. Mark, go to your room. Take Lipo with you. Hope you've eaten. I'm not sharing. Okay, Jason, door. Jason, what's up? What's up, homie? Who the hell is this? This is my main man, Rajiv, from my acting class. You weren't going to give me the role anyway. He needs to work. All right, this is not a paying job. Oh, no sweat, Holmes. I just want to practice. Mm -hmm. He doesn't even have the right accent. I can do the Slurpee Man if you'd like. Okay, good. Do the Slurpee Man. How about the turban? I don't care. Jason, door. Action. <laughs> hey, Lloyd, what's up, baby? Lloyd? Lloyd, what's up? What's up? Lloyd, Lloyd, who's Lloyd? Why is Lloyd here? Well, Tommy, you said you wanted Christmas curls, right? This is Lloyd. His choir, off the chain. No, I meant CDs. Lloyd, choir, thank you very much for making the long trip. There's been a terrible misunderstanding. All right, go wait over there. All right, everyone, don't touch the hors d'oeuvres. We're short on food. If we make it through this, I'll take us all the shake. It's very good. Jason, door! Got some. My mom will call me Bob. No, no, no. What's the teeth? Take the teeth out. Room force! <laughs> hello, hello. Welcome to our Amalabal. Hi, sweetie. Hi. 
Hi, Hello. Jackie, Kennedy, welcome. Come on, John. Hello. Hi, how are you? Come on in, please. Thank Make you. yourself at home here. Oh, oh, look who's here. This is a treat. Um, the Kennedys, Tiffany, I'd like you to meet Rajid. Rajid. Hello. Rajid is one of India's most beloved movie stars. Oh. Uh, pleased to meet you. Oh, is it this exciting, John? We love movie stars. How about Carol? Lloyd? Carol? Let's see. How many movies have we made together, Tom? Oh, more than I can even remember. Oh, which one is your favorite, Mr. Raji? Well, I... Oh, don't, oh, don't make him choose in front of me. It's just, just not fair, Jackie. <laughs> Mr. Modest can't take a compliment <laughs> or a pat on the back. <laughs> Isn't he adorable? And such a nice, firm bottom. Shrimp puff, anyone? Anyway, I would have to say my favorite is Saving Private Partner. Oh, I would love to see it. Is it that on video? Lloyd, how about another carol? Lloyd? Excuse me. What are you doing? You're saying that loud. We've only been together three days. That's all we know. Hello. Hey, Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Franklin, get your hands off me. Franklin is my neighbor. Franklin, oh, were we too loud? Hello, neighbor. OK, yeah, that's great, Gandhi. Have a seat. <laughs> Oh, look, you even got Sly and the Family Stone here, huh? That's super. So, you needed my help, huh? Hmm? Because it was really serious, huh, neighbor? <sighs> well, I definitely see some serious pain in your immediate future. You think I'm stupid, huh? You think I wouldn't know about you throwing my money around? I warned you, okay? My business depends on my reputation. I get taken by one punk, one guy, and I'm finished. You understand? Isn't he a little bit of terrific? He's an actor. That was a scene. <gasps> that was marvelous. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Franklin, he's, he's always popping over here doing these nutty, wild characters. He, he likes the mafia guy. Like, you better take me that money. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's really, really good. He wants to be in one of my movies. You keep that up, and I'm going to cast you one of these days. I swear it, Franklin. Will you guys excuse us just one minute? We have a little neighborhood business, you know, we're co block captains. Lloyd, nice and loud. Deck the house with Bob the Franklin, uh, you see that woman right there? Her father is worth millions. If all goes well tonight, I'm going to marry you Christmas Eve and you'll get your money. Maybe I'll just break one leg right now, huh? What do you think? All right, I'll triple it. $30,000. Ladies and gents, dinner is. You invited Franklin? What happened to his accent? Oh. Uh, he's trying to lose it. All right, so are we square, Franklin? 30 grand. $30,000. All right. Tommy, I better get that part or no block party. <laughs> OK. All right. Black Harp enjoyed the chorus. Ba -da 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 -da. You are. Follow me OK. So, go on. Jason! We weren't expecting anyone else, were we? Don't look at me. Hey, l l ladies, hey. You're a liar and you used us. Well, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. If anybody got used, it was me. I mean, I'm the one with third degree chafing here. Jason, 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 what's going on here? Who's he? Uh, what happened to your teeth? And why are you dressed like a houseboy? Uh, because he is a houseboy. He's mine. He he's my houseboy. I told you he was too well endowed to be a producer. Hey, thanks. Jason, did you tell these girls you're a producer? Uh, yes. Oh, God, please help me. Y yes, it's true. I know it was wrong, but y'all are gonna have to try and understand something here. I was raised rough and poor by smack-addicted parents. And, and I went to prison. And, and when I got out, I saw your ad. And, and I pretended to be cocky to hide my shameful past. But to be around all of this, I mean, it was no good because it was too strong of a temptation. Oh, geez. I mean, for, for what it's worth, I need you to know that it was truly an honor to serve somebody as noble and as honorable and, and as filthy, stinking rich as you. And uh, so I, I guess I can just hope and pray that someday, somehow, some way, you'll be able to forgive me.
I forgive you. Okay. Now, let's say goodbye to the girls. <laughs> um, lady. Idiot. Ow! Moron. Slime. Oh, already. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, um, can I, can I still call you? Swing by about 10. Oh. Ow. You saw that? Oh. Jason, I'm gonna have to let you go. I understand. Um, you were moved by the speech, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I'm sorry you all had to witness that. Let's not let it affect our dinner, shall we? Something crashed. A dinner's barking. I just like to spill in uh, my Franklin. Hey, Slick, what's going on? <laughs> Who is that? My accountant. He leaves you? No, mm. his house is being termited. <laughs> Plus, he's under a lot of stress, you know? Mm. New tax codes and the rupee dollar situation. Lots to memorize, plus the termites. <laughs> Remember our movie with the giant radioactive termites that ate New Delhi? <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> Lloyd? Set the Harley. Why'd you stop? Bows of Harley. No. No more singing. I don't know what's going on here, but I am not liking it. Tom, your doorbell is still ringing. Well, go ahead. I can't wait to see who this is. Hi. Hello. I'm Catherine Templeton. And you would be? Ma. Catherine, what are you doing here? I hope I'm uh, not disturbing you, but I really need to speak with you. OK, good. Let's take it outside, huh? All right, everybody, listen. Was that Catherine Jarreau Templeton? Yeah. She is one of the richest women in Los Angeles. I guess. And you both have it the same accountant? Yeah. Shishka, Papa. Shishka, the Vidle come and Nevo Polza? I owe you apology. I did not trust you, but it, uh, he handles her money. And yours, you must be legit. Oh. oh, no, no, he's legit. I'll vouch for him, he's legit. See? So, do you approve? Da. <laughs> have been just wonderful because of you. Really? Why do you doubt that? You made me feel young and attractive and <sighs> desired again. And I don't know how I'll ever be able to thank you enough for doing that. Please, don't thank me. I don't deserve it. Oh, <laughs> there you go again. <laughs> Mark, sweet, sweet Mark. I'm going to miss you. you miss me? Yes. It seems my ex-husband has realized that 3018 plants are not the best conversationalists. And, and he wants me to come home. And you know, I, I want him to come home too. So, this is goodbye. You're an angel, Ma. And I hope that someday you will find the kind of happiness you have given me. I hope so too. Oh, I almost forgot. I have a little something for you. Catherine, please, no. It's from Gunther. It's just a little Christmas present just for you. Chocolate truffles. Oh. Well, hey, Tommy, it's official. Man, look at me. It's broken. I should sue those women. Well, that's a good idea. Sue three lawyers who hit you because you lied, cheated, and slept with all three of them at the same time. Oh, fine, fine. You're gonna take their side, huh? Well, guess what? No pain pills for you. Guys, I'm leaving. What? Oh, Mark, my parents, they're not gonna be home for a couple more days, man. I'm gonna drive up the coast. I need some time to think things through. Wait, wait, Marky, baby, hey, hey. Look, I know we didn't hit the jackpot like Tommy, boy, but come on. He'll pay off the debt and he'll bankroll us. We'll get out there, we'll try again. I don't wanna try again. This whole thing has made me realize there's something seriously wrong with my life. 
wonderful chef once asked me what I wanted, and I couldn't answer him. I don't want to wake up in 10 years still wondering. Man, you are so deep. Come here. You're going to make it back in time for the wedding, right? Have you ever known me to miss out on a free bowl of borscht? Hypo, knock it off. Hi. Hi. This is finished. And I'm not giving it to my sister because she ran over the last one with her SUV. Wow, it's beautiful. I want you to have it. Really? Thank you. That's... Oh, look, there's a little... You put a little person on there. Actually, that's you. That's me? I look a lot shorter in paintings. The little guy. Well, you said something about wanting to spend more time here, so I thought... Thank you. That's really nice of you. I'll hang it in a place of honor, wherever I end up. So, how are things going with Tiffany? Tiffany? Oh, let's see. Uh, what's new with Tiffany and I? Oh, um, getting married Christmas Eve. Wow. You move fast. Listen, Jenny, I know you think I'm an idiot. And right now, I'm thinking I'm a big, fat idiot, too. But I got on this train, and I don't know how to get off. Jump. It's more complicated than that. I mean, so I don't love her. But that could change in time. In the old days, you know? All arranged marriages. People didn't even meet till their wedding day. That's true. Of course, people only live till 30. So if it was a bad marriage, you didn't have to suffer that long. You're not helping. Not trying to. She's not so terrible. I noticed that she was. Of course, she doesn't have your intelligence or your warmth or your depth sense of humor, your eyes, your nose, that beautiful mouth of yours that curls up at the end. It's like, it's like always right on the verge of a smile. What are you doing? I'm jumping. I haven't heard from you in over a year. Now all of a sudden you decide you want to talk to me? But no, 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 no. Of course, I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. Damn. These pills must be stronger than I thought. What do we do now? Well, I have a wedding to get out of, and um, there's this guy, Franklin, who wants to kill me. How's Alaska sound? What? Nothing. Are you sure you want to do this? Yeah. I was never meant to be rich. I just have to settle for being poor and happy with you. Your clothes are ringing. <laughs> Hello? Hello. Shh. I told you I'm not interested. Is that my mother? No, I'm sitting on a much better offer. What? Well, that's great. I'll meet you there. Wrong number? Oh, I gotta go. What? It gets complicated, but I will tell you first thing in the morning. Where are you going? What are you talking about? Jenny. Mm, don't do anything crazy while I'm gone.
Oh. I did it again. You did what? I fell for a poor girl who just left me for a rich guy. Already? Yeah. New personal record, huh? Is he here? No. He went to get himself a tuxedo. He's getting married, you know that, right? I thought he wasn't going to. He changed his mind. He did? Yeah. He got tired of making the same mistake, you know? Listen, look, I have to excuse myself because I have an audition to get ready for, okay? Bye. to get going. Already? Well, your one guest just showed up. Oh, Tom, your lying cowboy is here. Should I call police or just let uh, Cousin Gregor handle it? Well, it's, it's Christmas Eve. You know, why don't we show a little goodwill towards men and invite them in, huh? Ah, uh, you Americans. You would not have lasted 10 minutes under Stalin. Ah, there's my boy. I got the series. What? One of the leads, baby. I got it. How? I don't remember. Those pain pills I was taking, I think they relaxed me or something because they were loving me, Tommy. Dig this. I play a great-looking, dim-witted, womanizing lifeguard. Huh? It's a little bit of a stretch, I know, but I can do it, Tommy. Well, now all you have to do is learn how to swim and you're going to be just fine. Oh, yeah, huh? Congratulations. <laughs> hey, well, you know what this means, right? I can pay off the debt. You don't have to go through this marriage thing. No, 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 no. I made a plan. I'm going through with it, okay? <laughs> she likes me. She's rich. Why shouldn't I go for the money? Okay, cool. We'll both be rich then. Hey, besides, Tiff, she might not be the brightest lamp in the store, mm -hmm. but she's definitely doable. And hey, make sure to include that in your toast. Hey, Mark. Hey, hey. missed the buffet, didn't I? No, no, no. Hug me, too. I got a series. Hey, you don't have to lie. I'll hug you. Well, actually, he's telling the truth. He's playing a lifeguard. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Let me guess. Handsome, womanizing, and dim-witted? It's already in the papers? Yeah. Anyway, I'm happy for you. I got some good news, too. I want you to meet my significant other, Gunter. Hello? You gotta be kidding. What is a significant other? Well, in your case, it's your hand, but Gunter is the man I want to spend the rest of my life with. Yeah, we're going to open up a restaurant in Napa. Oh, holy crap. Yeah, I told you there was something wrong with my life. I guess I was too afraid to realize what it was. But with the help of Gunter and some amazing chocolate truffles, 
figured it out. Well, Harry, I thought my wedding was going to be the big news of the day. I couldn't keep lying to myself or you guys. I'm happy for you. Yeah. <laughs> well, it looks like we all got what we wanted for Christmas. I got a series, you got a rich chick, and you got a, a big piece of schnitzel. <laughs> Thank you. It's almost enough to make you believe in Santa again. <laughs> Please. The minister is having an allergic reaction to the fake snow. Oh, look, your accountant showed up. Oh, your termites, dear. <laughs> Make it snappy. Okay. All right. You guys better get out there and get seated. Good luck. Thanks. Feel glue? Yeah. Feel glued, Tom. Hey, Mark. Wait, wait, wait. All those times you saw me run around the house butt naked, was that, like, hard for you? I mean, did you want me? No, not at all. Really? You sure? <sighs> okay, I like Christmas as much as the next guy, but this is a lawsuit waiting to happen. beloved we are gathered together in the sight of God and this congregation to join these two people in holy matrimony Tom you take Tiffany to be your lawfully wedded wife to have and to hold in sickness and in health in sickness and in health the richer and poor to have and to hold have and to hold in sickness and in health and in health and in health till death till death till death do you part? do this. What? I can't marry you, Tiffany. <gasps> Why? Your father's right. I'm a fake and a fraud, and, and you don't deserve that, and I don't deserve you. I told you. But did you believe me? No, you were too busy ordering Russian winter. Your daughter's heart is breaking, and all you are worried about is a few dollars. Tiffany, I'm sorry. I, I can't lie to you anymore, and I certainly can't lie to myself. What am I supposed to do? Cut this down to a cocktail dress? Well, what do you want to do? What do you want to I know Jason thinks you're hot. Plus, he just got a new television series. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And, and I'm the star. Oh, well, me and some old guy named Bronson. Charles Bronson? Yeah, yeah, that's the guy. Uh, sweetheart, you know, I gotta tell you, whew, you sure got it going on in that dress. Thank you. It's couture. Is this another fake? This TV series? No. No, believe it or not, actually, out of everything, that's the only thing that is real, this TV series. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm sorry, Tiffany, the Kennedys. I think, uh, I think you two nutty kids are gonna be all right together. <laughs> Excuse me. 
Well, that was really noble and really stupid. You know what? You and me, we're taking a walk right Franklin, now. Franklin, look, the phony neighbor. You know what? Back off, Gorbachev, OK? How dare you show your face at my daughter's wedding? Gregor, Boris, do your thing. What are you talking about? Uh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, no, no waiting wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Boris, hold on. Thank you, sir. I don't think so. It's five before the hour here at KRQT. Still 70 degrees in downtown LA. It may not feel like Christmas Eve, but it is. And I'm heading for home. If you're not there already, what are you waiting for? Get in your car, go because this is a night to be someplace special with someone you love. See you later, Lipo. I think I'm gonna miss you the most. And if you don't have someone, why not ask Santa for that? You got nothing to lose, right? So, Merry Christmas, everybody. And here's hoping Santa brings you everything you want. Hello, my little man. Hi. <laughs> Go ahead, Tommy. Tell Santa what you want. A bike, a model train, a puppy, a puppy, a puppy, a puppy. Jenny. Kind of a strange place for a honeymoon, isn't it? Yeah. It was a lot nicer in the brochure. Where's Tiffany? All right, now she's... Uh... I watching Jason pull her garter off with his teeth. I didn't marry her. I couldn't go through with it. Why not? Because I'm in love with someone else. Hmm. Doesn't matter. She's not available. What makes you think that? Come on, Jenny. I saw you getting that level. I, I can't. I can't do this anymore. I can't play these games. Tom, the limousine belongs to me. You're going to also tell me that you're a multimillionaire and that you, you made a killing in the stock market and you just paint for a hobby, right? Actually, yeah. I invented some software and developed into a company. The company went public. Up until last week, I was worth about $500 million. What, what happened last week? I got a call from Microsoft, now I'm worth double. You think you could love someone who has a little money? I could give it a shot. Good. Oh, by the way, I have some exceptionally wealthy friends uh. who saw your sculpture like to have one of their own. Really? I'll start working on it tonight. I think it could probably wait till tomorrow. On the next day? I'll get right on it, maybe towards the end of January, February at the latest. Ha, ha, ha!
<laughs> Sometimes I scare myself. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Big booty brother. <laughs> Can't use that one. <laughs> Woo wee! <laughs> Ready? Who doesn't? Really? <laughs> Give me a little gas on occasion, but I. I can, I can take it. Hey, you know, that's the milk lipo drinks, huh? <laughs> hey, you don't have your, you have your things on? Didn't you take them off? I put them on when you did this. I right, turn around and No <laughs> white. <laughs> With that 32 cents, every needy child can have a bagel boy and a pony. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bagel. <laughs> <laughs>